powerful revelation of rapture, prepare for the Lord's coming, on Tuesday, 24th of July 2012, I came from workplace around 6 to 7 in the evening but I was very tired, on that day I didn't study the Bible as I used to do, neither did I prayed fervently, I was very tired and hungry also and I had to prepare food before I sleep, I went to the kitchen, made my food, went to bed to rest. It was about 10 to 11, I didn't know the actual time that I went to sleep, in the revelation, I saw myself watching a kind of musical show on the television but in this show, the song they were singing, they were mocking Christians, they were insulting God, they were provoking Christians, they were young people wearing black garments and they had a mark on their foreheads and they were looking fierce, I said to myself, I am a Christian, I cannot watch this kind of music that they are mocking God provoking Christians, I decided to turn off TV in the revelation and to go to sleep. But immediately I reach out my hand to the television, I saw myself in a large crowd that has no ending, where I was standing was not far from the altar but was so far from the crowd because it has no ending, the place was so black as you see this color at the Bible cover, you cannot recognize anybody except God permits you, people were busy crying and regretting. You will see how people regret because they have missed the rapture and the rapture took place when people were busy enjoying themselves, just as the Bible said Christ will come as a thief in the time when we don't expect, in the time when we would be given to marry, enjoying, partying, that is the time Christ will come, so it happened, people were busy doing their own business, partying, marrying, doing whatever things that can make them happy, the rapture took place at that time. I saw myself among these crowds, at the center, and I saw a man that I know but I cannot remember, he knew me very well, called my name and said, I want you to take this document to the former place you were working, I said, ok sir, and when I took the document from his hands, he was laughing, at the same time, crying, then I said to him, you asked me to do you a favor, now, I am about to do it and you are crying and laughing, what is the problem? what is happening? He nod his head and look at me in my eyes and said, now I know that you do not realize that you have missed the rapture, when he said those words that now I know that you do not realize that you have missed the rapture. The fear, the shock, the pain that came upon me, I began to cry, cry and cry, I dropped the document down and I turned right and left to see the number of people but I could not count their number, most of these people were young people, we were youth. I saw different color, different race, different tribe, different age, educated, non-educated, rich, poor, fair, black, every color, different languages, but on that day, we all had only one language, somebody will be speaking Yoruba or Chinese or English but whatsoever you say, another person will hear you, he will hear you clearly as if we have no difference in language, to my surprise I asked. So what are you people doing here and what is happening with tears on my eyes, with cry, with pain, with regret, somebody responded to me but I cannot remember clearly if it was a man or a woman, the person said, we are waiting for the preacher man, to me, I thought it was a pastor, I thought it was somebody who can tell us about Jesus but to my surprise, when I turned, it was the devil himself, he have his own altar. The pulpit was big such that everybody can hear and see him in that large crowd, whatever he is saying or doing, I was in front of that altar, after him, I was the next person, I saw him clearly, as I am speaking right now, his image is in my thought, when he came to the pulpit, he was mocking us, he would laugh and whenever he laughs, it is like they are turning acid into your system, into your flesh, into your body, into everything because you will feel the pain you will feel the regret, you will become scared of everything you have done, he would laugh, he was so happy because he has won the population he wanted to, he would say to us, is this the Jesus that you served, is this the Jesus you said you loved, and after he said those words, people will cry, Christians will cry the more, unbelievers will cry, rich, poor, all kinds of categories, pastors, elders, etc., all of us whether and we would cry, he was so happy, he was wearing a big black and red garment but he was very fierce, his face seems like he has been living for thousands of years, at this time, God opened my eyes and I saw myself in a tent with the devil. 
The tent of the devil was as big as the world, and for the crowd, it was as if we were in a plain field, there was no mountain nor water or any kind of barrier that we have now that separate us, we were all in one field, we were all together, after the devil, I was the second person that will see him, God opened my eyes in his tent, I saw him sitting at the center of all those around him, large crowd of people, each of this persons had the mark on their forehead, you can see it bold and clear, it was marked in black, painted or colored in the flesh, you can see it clearly and boldly, before you see their faces, it is the mark you will first see, all of these people around him had this mark, I was standing close to him, near him, while he had agents around him that were playing with him, they were lying around his feet, rubbing his feet, some of them were young, some of them were old, all kind of age, all kind of race were around him, so I stood there with pain, with tears, with regret, and then I said, devil, who are these people? Any time I ask him question, before he responds, he will laugh, he will laugh, he will laugh, he will laugh until he is satisfied and whenever he laughs, there is pain, there is regret, there is remembrance of everything you did on this earth, and he said unto me after he finished laughing, these are my agents, these are the people I sent to the world to corrupt the world, these are the people that I sent to the world to deceive the world, to my surprise, I was puzzled, I was like, I don't have what to say rather than to ask another question, the first category of people that I saw were aged women, I asked him, I said, Satan, who are these women? Before he answer, he would laugh, he would laugh. He was so happy, you will see the happiness in his face, in his mood, and then he said these are the fake pastor's wife that I sent to the world, to my surprise, imagine how we fear our leader's wife, how we honor them, how we respect them, lo and behold, some of them are agents of devil, he said, these are fake pastor's wife, I began to cry afresh, he said, I sent them to the world. They will pretend as if they are holy. They will pretend as if they know Jesus but they will manipulate the church and bring many to my kingdom. As he was saying this to me, one of the women stood up with the mark on her forehead and a dress that reaches on her chest. She went to one of the pastors that while on this earth had a big ministry and married her. She went to the pastor, moving round the pastor in a seductive manner, mocking him and saying, Pastor! Pastor! The man of God was carrying and squeezing his Bible to his chest. He was crying and in deep regret, today, if you squeeze the Bible on your chest, it is as if you are closer to Jesus, it is like you are reading the Bible but what I saw was that, that day, if you squeeze the Bible on your chest, the Bible has no effect, the man of God squeezed the Bible to his chest but it has no effect, though, it was big and bold. The agent was going around him touching his head, his body and saying, Pastor! Pastor! And she laughed and laughed before she went back to her seat under the devil, I saw another category of people, these people were young people, 18 years, 19 years, around my age, it was a large crowd of age and on side of the devil, and then I asked the devil, who are these category of young people? He laughed, he laughed, he laughed. He was happy, and he said, these are my young agents that I sent into the world to confuse the world, to get the minds of young people away from Jesus, to get them from being focused, and as he was saying this, a young woman that is an agent, a sister, stood up, she was wearing a long black tight and a vest that exposes her breast, she wore jewelry, a long chain that went in between her breast, she was wearing earrings, bangles, bracelets, she had this false nails that the worldly people do with their fingers with all kinds of decoration, she had colored lip gloss, she had eye shadow, she had weven on her hair, she stood up, she was so beautiful that even me as a woman, Elle got attracted, her skin was shining, she looked attractive and she can captivate the mind of many, when she stood up, she was walking in a seductive manner, her body and waist was rolling, she did it very well and as she was doing so, Everything about her changed, jewelry changing, short hair, long ones, lip gloss changes, but it is the same makeup, the same thing, and then, this girl went to one of the brothers she seduced and made him to miss rapture, she went to the brother and began to mesmerize with the brother, 
walking in a seductive manner and touching and rubbing him with her hand but the brother was busy crying that he has missed rapture, and then she went back to her seat under the devil, and then the devil said, I used these things to confuse the world, I used these things to deceive Christians, I make them feel like they are Christians while they put on these things, lo and behold, they are not Christians, I used these girls to seduce the boys in the church, I used the boys, I also saw a brother, he wore jeans trousers with a belt having a skeleton head at the front, I saw another category of aged men, I asked the devil, who are these category? Who are these people? And he said, these people? He laughed, he laughed, with joy he said, these are my fake pastors. These are my fake pastors. I send them to the world to talk about riches, to water down the real doctrine, I make them to talk about prosperity, I make them to forget holiness, I make them to do whatever I tell them to do, they will not breach the right doctrine, they watered it down, as he was saying these to me, a man stood up with a Bible in his hands, to me, I do think evil people cannot carry Bible but on that day, he stood up with a big Bible in his hands and I saw a large church, a large crowd of congregation that he was leading while upon this earth, he will be telling them, you will be rich, you will be this, you will have money, he will not tell them about sin or holiness or anything that concerns about judgment, and the people that were under his congregation that day were saying Amen but were crying, as I am saying this, I'm still seeing it, he showed how he preached to the people and then, he returned to his seat to the devil, when he was going back to his seat, he looked at me and laughed and it was boldly written on the Bible he was holding, Holy Bible, to my surprise, I was cold, I was so cold that I could feel the heat, the pain, the coldness, the surprise and the shock of being deceived by men of God today, and then I turned, this category I saw where all ages, big, rich, poor, educated, and I asked him, who are these category of people? And he said, these are the people that sing songs to praise me, but when they were in the world, people thought they were singing for fun, all the songs that they sing that does not glorify God, they are singing praise to me, I was like Jesus, have mercy but on that day, even if you call on the name of Jesus as loud as you can, it will have no effect, there was no sign of Jesus, there was no sign of mercy, there was no sign of repentance, there was no sign of anything that we have now, there was no sign of grace, there was no sign of light, not even a single light or torchlight, all you will see is pain, regret, mourning, people crying, they will grind their teeth, you will see them in terrible pain, you will know that I have missed the rapture, 